dumelang ba gaetse dumelang 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 ke moroma lembe o ke tlile mo gore re bolele ganyane ka ntho botlhogo e botlhoga ka kudu mo le fasing e thata mo le hlakoreng ra la ba creste le batho ba ba sa dumeleng of course ba phila ba botsisa batho re le bolela ka go bua ka Jesu empa bo thata ba ka ke gore yena ne a tsamaela eng why na tshwantse gore a tsamae a tlogele le fatsi ko morao because batho ba 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 ntse ba tlhalogane gore eh Jesu na tshwanetse gore a tle mo le fasing go bani re ne re tshwanetse gore re phulushwe eh mo dibeng tsa rena but putse sho ke gore why Jesu na tshwanetse gore a tsamae a tlogele le fatsi a sepile a e gonta ta gae le godimong ke tsena ka vital voices ering eh ke morena Jesu ya re dumeletse hore re tsamaise evangedi The question children of God is why did Jesus ascend why did Jesus ascend why did he leave earth and go back to heaven to the heavenly father um this is a very trick thing i had to thought about i had to think about it thoroughly and trust me i thought about it i thought about it most people understand why jesus came to earth the concept of salvation of course and then that's why even if you read uh, matthew 1 verse 21 an angel was speaking to mary it says that it said to her mary you will bear forth a son you shall name him jesus because he will save people from their sins so most people understand or have the concept of why did jesus come to earth but they don't understand why did he live so it becomes hard for them to understand why is he coming back so i uh, i'll be i'll be talking about that briefly why did jesus live before we look at why is he coming back and it sounds terrifying or it sounds like we are scaring people when we talk about the coming of Jesus because they understand he came to save us but they don't understand why did he live why did Jesus go back to heaven after the resurrection after he told his disciples to go and wait in Jerusalem awaiting awaiting for the pentecost why did jesus go back to heaven we'll be reading in the book of ephesians chapter number 4 verse number 10 only then i'll quote the other verses to support my arguments towards this question or what i actually think is the answer to the question why did jesus go why why did jesus go to heaven after he was resurrected using a king james version ephesians chapter 4 verse number 10 says he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things it said it says he that came to earth is the same with the one who went back to heaven is the same person 
Why did he go back to heaven? So that he might feel all things. So that he may complete all things. Completion. Uh, meaning that the first idea that we have, let's start, let's see, Guza Apeleli Sagonge. Guza Apeleli Sagonge. Jesus said to go to heaven. Guza Apeleli Sagonge that he came for on this world. Kure di lokamoka di felele. Di fitle ma fele long. Ka huwe ka biya ka ancho ya modimo. Li nepe ya khutla ka ha ha huwe mo li fasi. Bana besu ri tswanechi huri ri tlalo hani huri. Jesu aata maya because o kikari. Jesu asi pila khubani na hapa le chuki le faas. Batu baba ngebari Jesu usipi chi because bambe tile khabu luku mole fasi bambe tile khambi wa chaba khudula li batu wa sipila wa ele khudimo. Kise batu basu bule la ngeba bule la kako sepila. Amore na krestu jesu. Maybe wena zanke wana khana kako re. Why did he have to ascend back to heaven? Far above all skies. Back to the father. Okay, I have this answer for you. Jesus finished his work, his duty, his responsibility on earth after resurrection. As he was done, he had to go back to the Father. The question is why? Here are the reasons. The first reason, so that everything will be completed. What is everything? What is everything that has to be completed? Okay, let's check the book of John 16, verse 7. Let's check John 16, verse 7. John 16, verse 7 says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Jesus said, it is of your benefit, talking to his disciples, that I go. Because if I don't go, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will not come unto you. So it's best I go. Okay. In Ephesians 4.10, the last phrase said that to fill everything or to complete everything, to finish everything. So this verse is giving us the idea that the Holy Spirit is the completion or the perfection of the coming of Jesus. What am I saying? So that, or let me say to certify that Jesus surely performed his work. Jesus played his role and finished it. That's why the Holy Spirit had to come. Taking it from verse 10, Ephesians 4, and then filling it with chapter 16, verse number 8. Jesus said, it is of your benefit that I go because the comforter wouldn't come. So now we have this idea 
that Jesus left so that we may be and we should be and will be embedded by the Holy Spirit in us. Jesus knew that everything he taught his disciples was perfect. And it was ready to transform them, to make them new beings. But the only thing which was withstanding is that they didn't have the power to keep all those commandments. They didn't have the strength or the understanding of heavenly things as the flesh suppresses the spiritual things. So he understood that the only person who could make things possible, who could certify that the arrival of Jesus Christ indeed was effective, was the Holy Spirit. So Jesus left so that we may have the Holy Spirit. Because he said, if I don't go, he wouldn't come. It sounds like divinity is not allowed to be missing on the third part because there's three in the Trinity of God. There's God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. During the reigning of God, the Father in heavenly throne was remaining God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. And then during the reigning of Jesus Christ, when he had to play his role, uh, recruit uh, his disciples, and train them into apostles and all that. Uh, in heaven was remaining God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. So if Jesus leaves, ascends back to heaven, the Trinity will have to release God the Holy Spirit so that the entire generation on earth could come to the understanding that indeed Jesus fulfilled his part on earth. He fulfilled his purpose. So Jesus left for our own good going to heaven so that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why it says in chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken, the book of Romans, he without the spirit of Christ is not of Christ. Meaning that I may declare to people that I am indeed a Christian, but if I do not have the Spirit of Christ, I am not of Christ. And that is simply because Christ left so that he can be sure we are his. Typically, let's check John 17, verse number 11. John 17, verse number 11, it reads, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name, for whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Jesus said in verse, the verse that, that I read, he said that, because I'm coming to you, he was leaving earth. In 16, he was telling them that he must leave. Chapter 16, John. But in chapter 17, when he was praying, he says to God, I'm coming to you. And as I'm coming to you, please keep those whom you've, you gave me or you've given me. And unite them as you and I are one. This means the other reasons why Jesus had to go is for earth or for Christians who are left behind to indeed be sure they are of God by them being united them being united he says unite them as you and i are one so if we are struggling to get together as the children of god 
if we are struggling to be united as the children of God, it begs a question to the prayer that Jesus made. Are we really the ones he prayed for? Because he said, unite them as you and I are one. And being united was only possible by the Holy Spirit to come down. So Jesus went to heaven for our own good. For our own good. For instance, if I have to lash back to Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 10, where he said, He that descended is the very same man with he who ascended far above all heavens to set everything into perfection. And if you read verse 11, it clarifies what is it uh, that gives assurance of the perfection. He talks about the fivefold ministry, that the fivefold ministry is the only key to the perfection of the church. It means that if a church doesn't have the fivefold ministry or is left without one, has the fourfold, has a fourfold, no longer a fivefold, maybe they eliminated the apostle, maybe they are prophets and teachers and the rest. It means that the church will never reach a stage of or a state of perfection. The church will never reach a stage of completion and it will lack, it will be slow in edification because all that is done through the completion of the fivefold ministry in verse 11. To sum up, Jesus went to heaven so that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why he said to his disciples, go to Jerusalem and wait until you are filled with the Holy Spirit. That was the Pentecost. And then, after being filled with the Holy Spirit, you can start preaching the gospel from Jerusalem, Judea, to the entire part of the world because they were already filled with the Holy Spirit and his purpose was fulfilled. He had to go. Thank you. This is what I wanted to share that Jesus left so that we may receive the Holy Spirit. He said if he doesn't go, the Holy Spirit will not descend. God bless you all. I'm still saying Kimura na Jesu ardumele tsu horre tsa maise evangel God bless you God bless you God bless you ke a lebo ka ka sebakanyana o mfileng sona amen